In this video, you'll see how to solve and graph inequalities, uh, one-step inequalities with multiplication and division. So the inequality I have here is negative 15 is greater than or equal to 3b. In order to solve this, 3 is being multiplied by b. 3 is the coefficient, so I want to divide both sides by the coefficient. Uh, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. And that's going to be greater than or equal to, I just dropped down my sign in this case, uh, 3b divided by 3 is just 1b or b. So negative 5 is greater than or equal to b. So my boundary is negative 5. It's greater than or equal to, so I'm going to use the closed circle here because it could be equal to negative 5. And then I think to myself, negative 5 is greater than or equal to what numbers? Negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 6, negative 10, negative 100. So it's greater than or equal to all the numbers to the left of negative 5. In this example, we're going to see how to solve and graph an inequality dealing with division. Uh, one thing that's different about this example than the previous one is that I am dividing by a negative 3, which means my coefficient of the variable is negative. Whenever that's the case, I have to switch the sign of the inequality that I'm using. So in this case, I'm going to switch it from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Uh, first things first, n divided by negative 3. I want to isolate n, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 over 1 times n over negative 3. Our negative 3's cancel, leaving us with n. Because I multiplied both sides by a negative, I'm going to switch my sign uh, it's from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. And negative 7 times negative 3 is 21. My boundary for my graph here then is 21. N is greater than or equal to 21. So I am going to fill in my circle here because N could be 21. And I think to myself what numbers are bigger than uh, 21? 22, 23, 30, 50. All the numbers to the right of 21 are bigger than 21. I can check my work here uh, by substituting any number that's bigger than 21 into my original equation. So I'm going to use negative 30. Excuse me, I'm going to just use 30 since that's bigger than 21 over negative 3. I'm going to see is that less than or equal to negative 7. Okay, so I'm just substituting uh, a value that's bigger than 21 into my original equation. 30 divided by negative 3 is negative 10. And yes, that is less than negative 7, so I know that I've solved my inequality correctly. And that is how you solve and graph one-step inequalities with multiplication and division.